So today in this video, I will discuss again the different kind of the controls. So few discussions I already did in my in the previous videos. So in this video, I will start from the button controls. In HTML5, different type uh, all together around the five types the button types are there, which is more pop, which all are the more popular. Okay and with the help of the buttons what are the activities you can do first of all okay first things with the help of the button we can send the details from one page to the another page okay means along with the button we will put some value and that value also with the help of the get method otherwise through the url we can send another things with the help of the button the form informations which you are keeping together okay inside the form again the so many controls are there now so in all controls is the keeping the, all of the values so once with the help of the button only you can pass all value to the another page another points regarding the one more option is there uh, that is called again the some uh, forms so many information are there you want to again to delete all informations together so that also you can do with the help of the buttons okay and if you want to display the some certain image that also we can display top of the buttons right so these are the more popular work which you can do with the help of the buttons so first one uh, along with the button again the you can use the input tab and along with the input tab again attributes is the type under the type only based upon the purpose of your work you can define the different values so first value uh, is called again submit so what is the meaning of the submit along with the form along with the forms one submit button requires so whenever you are processing the all of the data which contains inside the single forms so once you are you have a submit input type equal to submit so all value you can pass together okay so this is again the very simple way we can say it creates a button that submit the form data to the server passing means again one page to another page again otherwise you can store in the server depends upon your requirements so that is the first again the value submit under the attributes second things again the type equal to reset another value is called reset so what is happening in the resets all information whatever you are filling in the data form data with the help of the single button you can clear all of the value okay so it clear a button that clears any of the usual already inter form data right and the third one is called input type equal to button it create a custom button that this button may require javascript purpose to call again any functions otherwise you can perform any actions with the help of this button okay another thing is the input type equal to image so this create a custom submit button that uses as image for its display okay so button if you are writing in that image so that image will work as a button okay and one more thing is there only the button not input only the button open button tag and close the button tag so it create a custom button and this button element differ from the input type equal to button whatever you are writing in the input type equal to button and this button both are different so with the help of only the button you can completely customize what happened in the button using it using it you can for instance include both image and text or skip server side processing entirely by the using the hyperlinks so you can turn the button into a submit button using the type equal to submit okay if you are writing the input type equal to submit again that, that will work for the form controlling data purpose means sending the information to the another page only if you are writing the button so with the help of this button you can send the one information uh, using the hyperlink otherwise you can display the image otherwise text with the help of this button so these are the most popular button controls
So you can see here again the one very simple simple example. So input type equal to submit and the reset you can write and the closing tag is the same only. And another thing is again the input type equal to button and uh, one more things. If you want to display input type equal to submit that button will work as a submit. But in that submit if you want to display the any value that is called label. So that label should be inside the value. So value equal to double quote you have to write the click me otherwise submit otherwise reset so you see here value equal to click me so in that button the value will display click me that is one kind of the label suppose that if you are writing the input type equal to submit and value is not there if you are you already missed the writing the value so input type equal to submit only they will consider by default the label is the submit query Okay, please keep this point in your mind. Whenever input type equal to submit and value is not there, value is missing. So by default, they will consider value label of that button is submit query. Okay, but input type equal to reset. If you are not writing the value again, nothing will come. Okay, input type equal to button, then you can write the value equal to click me. And then you can give the any kind of the JavaScript calendar other by any things. Okay, same way if you want to display the image again, so input type equal to image and then SRC, attributes is called here SRC and then you display right the image path. Okay, same way some again the button you want to link for the any email page. So you see button open closing button then inside this one a hyper thing ahref then email dot html close the right hyperlink and middle of that one you can display the image link. Okay, so I think with the help of these pictures, this again, the, all of these pictures, otherwise examples, your concept is clear regarding the button controls. So only the button, linking purpose, input type equal to image how to use, input type equal to button how to use, and input type equal to submit how to use, and what is the use of the value, and if you are not writing the value, then again what the default value it will display, only for the submit, not for others. Okay. So another thing is that that is called the specialized controls. There are the two things is again very very important. One thing is the input type equal to hidden and another is input type equal to file. So first one input type equal to hidden. Sometime you don't want to display the value but that value you want to pass to the server other by some other place. That is again the most popular uh, uh, process otherwise the condition you think for as a developer something you don't want to display but that information you have to pass to the server otherwise another page take example for the payment gateway you don't want to disclose again the some credentials otherwise some id whatever auto generated is there to the users but that id and credentials we have to pass to the payment gateway so that time you have a option input type equal to hidden you can write input type equal to hidden value is available along with the form along with this page but that value is not available for the users okay and the another thing is called input type equal to file whenever you want to do upload means uploading your browsing the any file uploading purpose you want to browse the file so that time you can write the input type equal to file so you see here input type equal to file name equal to photo then we will get again the one button click on that button then the browse option is there then you can find your file that file name will come there but in that case whenever you are writing the input type equal to file so one things you can keep in your mind I already discussed in the my previous videos method is there post otherwise get then the action is where you want to display along with this one only input type equal to file you have to write enc type encrypting type enc type equal to double quote multi part slash form data multi part slash form hyphen data double quote close if you are not writing this once then whatever the file if you are browsing here that file name otherwise any digital information will not pass from one page to another page otherwise from your application to the server so please keep this point in mind input type equal to file in type equal to multi part slash form hyphen data inside the double quote opening and closing is must. So these two are the specialized control. Yeah. So one more thing is there input type equal to color. So whenever you are writing the input type equal to color. So that time this is again the one way the color picker. 
means you want you can pick the color okay so in that input box only so input type equal to color and name equal to uh, so you are giving the back other by some time if you are giving the color name also and inside the value if you are writing the value again the some color name either in the hexadecimal otherwise the color name direct only that will come again the this one uh, color inside that box okay so this is the one way for the input type equal to color for the picking the color purpose so this is again the one of the important otherwise uh, useful uh, uh, controls but one problem for the input type equal to color it is not again the appears does not support for the all of the browser that is again the one of the demerits for the this file okay so i think you got the idea about the input type equal to color also apart from this one other two controls are the very very popular one is again called the progress another is the meter okay this is again the very very popular uh, controls so progress and element uh, meter meter elements can be used to provide the feedback to the users but it requires javascript to function dynamically an output element can be used to hold the output from a calculations progression meter again the used to provide feedback to the user but required javascript dynamically but output element that is used to hold the output form of a calculation and one more thing is there key gen key gen k e y g e n elements can be used to hold a private key for the public key encryption so this is again the part of the encrypting the value this required again okay one more thing is again the very very important that is called the web accessibility okay so all web not all web users are able to view the content on the web page in the same manner means all contents whatever you are displaying all web users they cannot see in the same manner so that's why the term web accessibility refers to the assist the technology various feature of html that work with those technology and different coding and design practices that can make a site more usable for people with visual mobility auditory and the connecting disabilities okay so in order to improve the accessibility of the website the w3c created a web accessibility initiative wai and here we have a some certain guidelines so we have to follow that guidelines whenever you want to display the information in the web page okay that is the called wai web accessibility initiative so under this guideline what they are telling uh, is different i mean the process is there in that process only we have to display i can see in the simple example whenever you are taking the any input box so that input box again we have to specify either the top of that input box include inside the label key for what purpose of that input box okay otherwise side of that in left side in by right side general standard format is the top of the input box otherwise the left side of input box you have to specify what purpose for that input Input box with the help of the label, and now for in the HTML file we have a option for the placeholder. Placeholder. So inside the placeholder only you can write the, again the purpose of that input box. So this is the one example I am telling. Okay. So this is again called web assessment, uh, web content accessibility guidelines. Right. Same way. Same way. Different, different again the process are there. we have to provide the users to the how to navigate the page from one page to another page okay so this navigation facility also we have to make the more smooth one right you cannot create again direct home to the some other inside to inside page and then again going to inside then again going to coming to the first page so that kind of the navigation is not good for the users so in same pattern in the same way you can see what are the a process again the uh, accessibility guidelines that we can see here again the more points and everything you can open the w3c websites there we can get the web content accessibility guidelines okay and uh, one more things make all functionalities available from a keyboard only this is again the very very important okay and one more things it create content that be, can be presented in the different way but without losing the information or structures right so i think you got this idea.
so and one more things you can see here uh, this is again the part of that one whenever you're displaying the table then we have to write the caption means the table name should be there somewhere either the top or the by the bottom but that table name you have to write use the caption this is again the one kind of the guidelines only this is called accessibility of the tables okay and the same way whenever you are displaying the some value each value top of this one heading i mean that that is called the table column heading should be there okay can under this table column heading this this values are there this column heading this values are there this column heading this values are there so these are the things you can keep in your mind another way same way uh, just now i told the input box again the level required and uh, another way if you have a drop down list same process whatever the following there again we have to write under the label what purpose what contents are there in that drop down list okay one more thing is that that is called the micro formats so this micro what is the micro formats so micro format is a small pattern of html markup and attributes to the represent common block of information such as people events and news story so that the information in them can be extracted and then indexed by the software agent so you one diagram here so in diagram you can see micro format information h news is already there macro for information h card is again there right and then again you can see one more places again uh, website uh, aggregating all the h news information from the different websites again they are merging and through the server harvesting the micro format information that is the server is there and then again the report is coming in the h card information from the different website together so this is again the one kind of the small um, in the standard concept of the macro format okay so in this video only this much so next video again i'll discuss about the later part as according to your syllabus so thanks for your presence